This is Iron TV. Network Integration Evaluation 15.1, or NIE, is an exercise that allows the Army to evaluate the new equipment, software, and hardware. It is also an opportunity for elements of 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Armored Division, to get some field time. The medics of 47th Brigade Support Battalion take full advantage of the evaluation exercise. Here's Sergeant Marlon Stiles to tell you more. A mass casualty incident occurs when wounded personnel overrun an aid station. You all right? Starting to see the light. It is a situation that the medics of Charlie Medical Company, 47th BSB, recreate in the field during NIE 15.1. The medics take the chance to evaluate their practices. We train on the best, newest equipment, but we also actually make sure that the four elements and maneuver units keep their soldiers in play so that they're able to do their job as well. Yes, the atmosphere in the aid station is intense. The severity of the situation will prepare the medics for future deployments. Get into the real situation, there's a possibility of freezing up. If you practice, 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 and you have a feel for how things should go, when the real thing comes in, it's, it's not quite so traumatic for especially new medics, new physicians, new nurses, anyone. For new medics to the Army, this is a chance to put their training into practice. Uh, it's, it's been excellent. I feel like, you know, as a medic, I'm becoming better. So it's, it's awesome to be able to work with, um, with our doc and uh, get good feedback and, and practice, you know, kind of a real-life combat situation. Even though this mass cow is a simulation, the anxiety and stress a medic feels is real. I know it's going to be very different because you don't have the same setting, you know, as a deployment, but treat them like a deployment. Treat them like everything's real, and you will improve and you will learn. And learning during this exercise now will help to save lives of soldiers in the future. From Fort Bliss, Texas, I'm Army Sergeant Marlon Stiles. Soldiers from 2nd Battalion, 5th Infantry Regiment, 3rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team, Bulldogs, were recently awarded medals from their recent mission in Afghanistan. The medals awarded include the Bronze Star with V-Device for Valor, the Army Commendation Medal with V-Device, and the Purple Heart. The awards were presented to the soldiers by Lieutenant General Patrick J. Donahue, the Deputy Commanding General and Chief of Staff of the U.S. Forces Command. Do you have what it takes to be the next Fort Bliss Recycling Hero? Fort Bliss Recycling needs you. The Fort Bliss Recycling team is looking for someone to fill the role of the next Fort Bliss Recycling hero. Do you have what it takes? If so, there's only a few simple requirements. Number one, you must recycle. Number two, you must be between 5'9 and 6'3. Number three, you must be able to fly. Okay, maybe not, but you must be able to make personal appearances. If you think you have what it takes to be the Recycle Hero and make a difference for Fort Bliss, please nominate yourself at the Fort Bliss Recycles Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Fort Bliss Recycles or call 915-568-1537. The UTEP Miners football team recently invited Fort Bliss soldiers and their families to a football game for Military Appreciation Day. During halftime, Major General Stephen M. Twitty, Commanding General of the 1st Armored Division in Fort Bliss, conducted a mass reenlistment ceremony on the UTEP Miners football field. November 8th. 1942, Operation Torch, the invasion of North Africa. This represented a series of firsts for the Allied crusade against Nazi Germany and her allies. This would be 1st Armored Division's first contact with enemy forces. Elements of 1st Armored Division were a part of the Northern Task Force 
and became the first American armored division to see combat in World War II during Operation Torch. With the anniversary of Operation Torch, the first armored division is hosting Torch Week here on Fort Bliss. During the week, America's armored division will host a series of events. Here's the schedule of events for Torch Week. This is Iron TV.